Meet Mr. Mike. Mike is your average jungle monkey. Nothing really special about him, but let's put him in front of a typewriter and see what Mike can get up to. Well, Mike is not great at typing. In fact, he doesn't even know what a typewriter is, so he's really just hitting random keys. Now, the theory goes that an infinite amount of monkeys with an infinite amount of time will accidentally write the complete works of Shakespeare. We don't have infinity to test this theory, so let's run the numbers. For simplicity reasons, Mike gets a 78-letter keyboard. Effectively, our monkey is throwing a 78-sided dice every second repeatedly to complete the work of Shakespeare. There are 5,132,954 total characters that need to be written in perfect sequence to complete the work of Shakespeare. For Mike to get the first three letters correct is 78 times 78 times 78 seconds. Extrapolate that and we get 3.62 to the power 9.7 million seconds. Clone that number of monkeys and we will get the work of Shakespeare in about two months. Let's fill a building with one million monkeys that works 24 hours a day, week after week, month after month, typing one character per second without fail. Now let's take this monkey building and clone it. Let's do the 7.5 billion billion times. And this number is unique because it represents the amount of sand particles on planet Earth. We're going to need a slightly bigger planet to fit all the monkeys we've been cloning. Now that we have an enormous planet stacked with monkeys, let's clone this planet the same amount of times as there are stars in the observable universe. Estimates range from 100 billion galaxies to 2 trillion in the observable universe with 100 billion stars per galaxy. Let's just average on 1 billion trillion monkey planet clones because all we really need is a big number. Let's take this monkey universe and clone it by the amount of atoms in the observable universe. That is 10 to the power 82 monkey universes. Now, let's take the monkey multiverse and let each monkey clone itself by the amount of atoms in the observable universe. And after all of that monkey cloning, we have 7.5 to the power 215 monkeys. And if we compare this to the amount of monkeys that we require to write the complete works of Shakespeare, we get a number that is so small that it is effectively zero on most scientific calculators. We used absolutely mind-blowing numbers and we still don't even have a fraction of the amount of monkeys that we require to write the works of Shakespeare. But luckily there's another way. Now for the amazing power of geometric growth. Let's take a universe where all the monkeys are female, immortal, and each monkey has two babies every second through immaculate conception or via one lucky male monkey. We get three monkeys in the first cycle, nine monkeys in the second cycle, 27 monkeys in the third cycle, 81 monkeys in the fourth cycle, after five cycles, we get 243 monkeys. After the 18th reproduction cycle, we get 387 million monkeys. We can stack the monkey blocks all the way to the moon if each block was one cubic meter in size. These numbers on the screen represent the amount of monkeys created with each reproduction cycle. We effectively need 9.7 million cycles to get us 82% of the monkeys we require to write the work of Shakespeare. After only two weeks of monkeys reproducing, we will get the golden monkey the monkey that will reproduce the work of Shakespeare in about two months. Now we've made the parameters easier with a simpler keyboard, assuming the monkeys type at a speed of one character per second without hitting double keys, without favoring certain keys, without getting tired, without needing food. The reality is, even if an infinite amount of monkeys existed, you will never get the work of Shakespeare because there's a hard limit. No monkey will sit down for two months and type character after character without fail. And if such a monkey exists, it's not a monkey. There are hard limits in this universe. If infinite time with infinite possibilities exist, then the thing that destroys the universe must also exist. Therefore, such a universe cannot exist. But the true essence of this story is not about monkeys, it's not about typewriters. It is about what's possible with random molecular interactions. Can the machinery for simple RNA spawn to form the machinery that drove chemical evolution to form the first living cell? I will cover this question in excruciating detail in my next video, so hit subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more.
For those who are interested in the meantime, read about abiogenesis and the old RNA world. For the calculations in this video, please check the description below. For those of you who are interested in running your own monkey typewriter experiments, we have an open source program called Monkeys at Work, written by PHP to ASP. A link to this software is available in the description below. Let's look at a few examples. This application needs to run in command line to limit the resources required. Let's run a search for Apple. What the application effectively does is it creates a virtual monkey and lets it randomly type. If the monkey types the word wrong, the monkey is killed and a new monkey is created. But to speed things up further, we kill the monkeys if they type the first character incorrect. No point in wasting time with monkeys to write further when they are already on the wrong track. We then do this for the second and the third character and so on. In this case we can see it took 130 million monkeys to find the word apple in a fraction of a second. It is incredible to think a virtual monkey just typed apple by accident. Keep in mind these monkeys hit keys at a very small fraction of a second. These are very fast typing monkeys, however typing speed does not affect what they type. So the end result is the same. And one can extrapolate from this how long it would take if a monkey typed at one character per second or even slower than that. To find a two letter or three letter or even five letter word from randomly typing monkeys takes almost no time at all. But from six letters onwards it takes exponentially more time for the monkeys to find the word. Now let's try the keyword apples. This takes substantially longer. So one has to wonder if the time from apple to apples vary so substantially. Imagine the complete works of Shakespeare, every space and every character. I ran the search for symphony for a day and got the monkeys to type the word symphon, but I never got the why. One can see how it gets exponentially more complex and time consuming for the monkeys the longer the word becomes. It would be interesting to see if those users at home with fast servers will be able to get the word symphony, or better yet, Numino ultramicroscopic silico volcano coniosis. Let us know what results you get in the comments below, and your thoughts on randomness leading to order in a chaotic world. To receive more crazy content from Mad Brain Abs, please remember to hit subscribe below. Till next time, guys.